Well, this is also a huge weekend for football fans. Yes, Sunday is the Grey Cup. The BC Lions taking on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And fans from around the island are among the thousands descending on Vancouver for the big game. Dana Hutchings is here now with more in Checkpoint. Stacey, Grey Cup fever is kicking up as the countdown begins and fans traveling to Vancouver to witness what they hope will be a Leo's victory. In Nanaimo, there is a vested interest in this final game. As Sky Ryan reports, it's all because of a player who will have the city's hopes and well wishes when he steps out onto the field. Go Lions, go. Boatloads of hope are headed the BC Lions way for Grey Cup Sunday. I am feeling a bit of the fever. I, uh, I'm really excited to go. It's huge, it's huge. I think the ferry boat ride going over there, it's going to be packed of Harris fans, packed of Lions fans. In Nanaimo, team shirts are selling out. To get into the spirit of it, it's, a, it's an exciting thing. Uh, we love that the Lions are in the uh, Grey Cup and uh, it's something to celebrate. But there's even more to it here. Football's huge in Nanaimo. And according to the trainer of the Vancouver Island Raiders, John Wengel, Lions superstar Andrew Harris has a lot to do with that. To see him now playing the big leagues, it's huge, right? It's kind of a, a Cinderella story, if you will. It's here that Harris led the Vancouver Island Raiders to victory season after season and where the Lions spotted his talent. I think it's a proud day obviously for our team and franchise but I uh, also I think it's a pretty proud day for the city in Nanaimo. And, and his following has hardly diminished in this town since he hit the big time. It's unbelievable he peaked at the right time so like here we're going right into the Grey Cup and he's ripping it up right now so it's awesome. It's <laughs> And that success is inspiring these young athletes on John Barsby's high school football team. It uh, shows it can be done, right, with hard work, persistence, determination. So as ferry loads of football fans leave the Harbour City to share their Grey Cup fever on the mainland. Yeah, I think I'm a part of the uh, Lion bandwagon. There's hope that Cinderella dust that's been so successful for Harris in this city will be filling the air of BC Place on Sunday. Can't wait. And our checkpoint question tonight, do you have Grey Cup fever? You can tweet us, you can go to our Facebook page, or you can email us your answer as well. That's also the question in our web poll. To vote on that, you can go to our website, www.checknews.ca. Whether you're a supporter of the Lions, the Blue Bombers, the Riders, or the Stamps, fans spare at no expense to show their pride at the Grey Cup. It's truly an all-Canadian party. All teams are represented. There may be rivalries in the CFL, but most are good-natured. John Thorburn is a Lions fan. Murray Bax is from Ryder Nation, but they haven't let that get in the way of their friendship. They've been going to the Grey Cup together for 17 years. We book our hotel, we get our tickets and hop on a plane and... <laughs> Meet wherever yeah, yeah. wherever it is. Yeah. All the cities in Canada that have a Grey Cup team or uh, just a football team all, all come here and we all party. So it doesn't matter whether your team's in the Grey Cup or not. It is going to be a party. Our checkpoint question, do you have Grey Cup fever? Here's what you had to say on the streets. From out of town, I don't even know what that is. Grey Cup football, CFL? Mm. No? Where are you from? American, not even an American football fan. Go Lions. There we go. Not really. No. No, because my team's not in. Who's your team? Calgary. Go okay. Vancouver! Yeah. <laughs> Sir, I'm an Eskimo fan. Are you? Yeah. Uh, you're not going to watch this weekend? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll give it a go for yeah. sure. And Absolutely. You haven't got a favorite other than, you know. Well, I'm always for the West. In. i yeah. got to be for the West. So, yeah, so, yeah okay. Go, go Lions. From Facebook, Leslie says, getting ready for my annual Backyard Grey Cup party. Ten years now with no rain. Hope the weather holds scallops and bacon on the barbecue. Marcel, well, he isn't so interested. He says, ah, no, I'm working. And do you have Grey Cup fever? Ian Ferguson says, no, more of a mild Grey Cup upper respiratory congestion, really. All in fun, of course. And the results of our web poll, pretty split. 55% said yes, they're feeling the fever. 45% said no. And if you're going to watch the game on Sunday, it starts at 3.30. And for all the fans, the last team to win the Grey Cup at home was the BC Lions in 1994. Go Lions, go. And that's tonight's Checkpoint.